Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and I am joined by Chicken Keeper and Hawk Gaming. Hello. Hello. We are in Kelso for Multiplayer again. Um, the, today we're doing an interesting mission. It is uh, the Special Forces Insertion Challenge that we're going to be doing. We have to plant a flag in the control tower on the island runway and get there via a jeep, which gets there via a boat, which gets there via a plane. <laughs> Very in depth. Literally a Kerbal to Duckin. A yes. Kerbal. Yeah. Kerbal. Kerbal. <laughs> so basically, we have to take a plane, drop or land, as you guys have apparently done, uh, a boat. The boat hits the land, deploys a rover. The rover gets there, the Kerbal gets out. The Kerbal plants the flag, gets back into the rover, gets back into the boat. Boat goes back to the VAB, uh, well, back to the shoreline, drops the rover, the rover goes to the VAB. Kerbal's all high five. Go, 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 go. Please, please, please. But we have to get the plane back as well. So, yes. yeah, ideally. <laughs> um, the reason we're currently in the VAB instead of being loaded on the runway is because, uh, well, part count was causing lag and people were dying. Let's put this in perspective. <laughs> I have around 192 parts. Quite a lot. Chris has 200. about 300 parts. I have 296, yes. <laughs> and Elysium has 364. Hmm. You said 342 earlier. Ah, uh, 342, the same thing. No, oh, what's a few? What's a, what's a couple of dozen parts <laughs> between friends? I normally run like vessels with over a thousand parts and not have too many issues. So, but this is DMP. The rules I know, are different I in know. this realm. So yeah. yeah, why don't you tell me about your craft and I'll chuck some screenshots up for my guys and vice versa. Do you want to go first, Chris? All right. Uh, mine is very very flat, but very very wide. Um. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's got a, it's got a little. Uh, the whole plane is like in a U shape. Um, so the boat it jettisons by the docking ports, lands in the water, and comes out of the back. Mm. Uh, and then that that's obviously goes to the shore, and then you slam it into the shore to park it. Hopefully, it doesn't float away. Um, and then the rover comes off the top. I like uh, the strategy of using hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hope hope uh, tends to work fairly well, I find. Yeah, because I've got one Kerbal and I have to get him... When I la land the plane, everything's got probes as well, just in case. But um, you can get him out of the cockpit. You have to wait until the plane's at less than three metres a second across the water. And then just get him out of the cockpit and it'll slide all the way to the rover. And then you just board the seat. <laughs> and then your plane can get back how? You've got a probe core on it? Yeah, with probes. Uh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. What about you, Harv? My boat is probably the most unique thing about mine. Rather than a boat, imagine a shed or, or a hangar. Some sort of, some sort of <laughs> canopy that has two sides coming down, two walls that allow it to float, and a ceiling which my rover is suspended from. Meaning that I don't have to hope it won't float away, I can actually just park this thing on the land, drop the rover out from underneath it, and then when I want to reattach, I can just use the VTOL on the rover to jump back up and dock again. Which is pretty useful. Yeah, that's the part I rely on hope for. <laughs> and then above that, I just stuck a massive paper plane. Pretty much. <laughs> just a load of wing surface. And it also has a probe core that is how I'm going to be flying it back. Sounds and lastly, Elysium. Um, I I like the rover from the last episode so much, I brought it back, despite the fact it's completely over specced for the mission parameters. This is probably one of the reasons why you have so many parts. <laughs> yeah, it's a four-ton rover where it should have been, like, an eighth of that. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got that on a giant flatbed um, boat, which also has the highest speed out of all of us for the boat. Mm, 135 um, was yours. Yeah, that's the top speed in testing. I don't think I'm going to push that unless I need to for the race. Um, and that giant boat is dropped, airdropped. I don't have to park up on the sea. I can airdrop and continue going. Yeah, yeah. if I try that, mine does a backflip, so I'll be landing everything. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll be that, but... dropping my Safe. boat from my plane, and the plane is interesting. Interesting. Also completely overbuilt. Well, not overbuilt, considering I have uh, a very heavy flatbed with a fairly heavy rover on it. <laughs> but it looks pretty. That's what matters. It looks pretty. Remember, kids, looks are everything. Yep, <laughs> looks are everything. If you grow up to be an engineer, just rem if you grow up to be an engineer, just remember to tell your boss that. I I build it with the wrong parts, but it doesn't matter. It looks pretty. Yep, we <laughs> should totally make the walls of the nuclear reactor out of cling film because then it'll look pretty. And sequins. 
a sequence. sequence. <laughs> and a mirror ball. You need a mirror ball in a nuclear reactor. Oh, yeah. Gotta reflect that deadly, deadly radiation. Shall we deploy, then? We shall. We're going to do this in a specific order so that we're not all trying to launch at the same time, because that, as we just learned, is a recipe for death. Yes. I also that need lag. to get some of my Kerbals out and put them in my rover. So I think we'll all launch into the safety bubble. Okay, I'm going to get my Kerbals out and uh, start um, launching, loading mm -hmm. them. Right. I'm going to take off. My engines are on. Preparing for leg spike. Using all four of my engines because I have two on the plane and two on the boat. I'm actually going to move my camera to where I think you'll be popping out of the safety bubble so everyone can see your beautiful craft. Mm. <laughs> We're going to get a beautiful 19 frames per second. 17 frames per second. I'm getting about 18. 18. frames per second. 17, 15, <gasps> 14. There it is. Oh, there it is. Wow, it looks so weird. Oh. It does look wow. very weird, doesn't it? I told you I just slapped some wing servers on top of. Oh, the it's ship. taken off. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, nice hey, Chris, are you going? Yeah. What the? Hang it's... on. Let me get a. <laughs> let me get two point four kilometers away before. It's you Tardising. It's Tardising. Yeah, it really is. It looks like it's just <laughs> VTOLed up in the air and it's just blinking. <laughs> yes. That's exactly uh, what I see. Right, we know what this is. This is because well. of Harv's connection. Yes. You can take off now. All right. Breaks off and let's go. What time is it, by the way? Time is 4 p.m. Uh, Kerbal right. time. Six frames a second. Okay, can anyone else see the uh, the marker for the edge of the radar range? Ah, you've gone now, half. <gasps> I can! I'm just flying in the deep blue sea. Okay, we have this rule that you cannot go any further Slow than the up. radar range with your plane. So you have to... Uh, the idea is the enemy runway is... Well, the runway is held by the enemy. Oh god, yep, I've done a backflip. So you can't get any closer to the shoreline than the radar range. Yeah. So, I'm debating... Are you going to fly out to the radar range pretty much exactly? Yeah, because I go faster that way. Even though I've got a fast boat, I go slightly faster in a plane. I think my boat's right, faster than my plane, to be honest. I'm not sure, though. I'm up okay, I'm waiting for you to get 2.5 kilometers away. Yep. Oh. I'm approaching well, half. Oh, there we go. I can see yours. And my frame rate's okay, actually. My frame rate's all right with Chris. It's Elysium that's the problem. Yeah, it's all your fault. It's probably all when we're on the ground and interacting within, with the ground. Yeah, we're not within load range, so it will be fine. Oh, you're just sort of still half. <laughs> oh, you're moving for me. Um, I can see your, your marker. Five kilometers. Where, whereabouts in the ocean are we landing? Is it just anywhere? Anywhere oh, you want, but it has to be five kilometers away from the runway. Yeah, you can see the end ah, okay. radar range uh, boy. Can you see the marker? Um, yeah, I see that 25 kilometers away. Yeah, so you can get any yep. amount close to that, it's just not past them. Oh, okay, V-Sploater, you're far away. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, the idea was that sailing would probably take too long and it wouldn't be as interesting. <laughs> besides, we have to sail all the way back anyway, so. Yeah, yeah so there's a bit there, there more time in the plane. That's a good point. There will be plenty of sailing. I ought to gain a little bit of altitude. I am up. Mission is officially a go, chap. Tally ho! Oh, I see you there. There we are, I can see you there, shaking that ass. Waiting for frame rate to drop. Oops. Shaking that tail thin. Special needs of Force Jeep Mark 1F. Yes, indeed. The most because politically it's... correct and completely non offensive <laughs> shit we have in our fleet. <laughs> yeah. No, no, the reason is after you try flying this, you will have special needs. Uh, namely, a coffin. You will need a coffin. Since when was a coffin special needs? <laughs> well, if you're if you're intending to be alive, it is. It doesn't have to be special educational needs. It's just special needs of any sort. Yeah, out of the ordinary needs. I have slightly broken the rules because my water landing took longer than expected, so I've been skidding to a halt past the radar range. Okay. Uh, but Jesus. I'm only like one kilometer in and, well. Yeah, I just qualified. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. Well, it's not I'm as if it's a proper race say. anymore. It's a friendly uh, friendly rivalry, really, I guess. Friendly battle. Yeah, it's, it's bragging rights. 
Right, now I'm going to try and detach my plane from my boat. Right, I am... I'm coming uh, in for my drop. I'm, I'm descending now. There it goes. And the plane is away. Up to a whopping 110 meters a second. <laughs> Swapping to the plane. Nice and easy. There we go. Now to fly myself back without loading you two. Sorry, but I'm about to load you, Harv. Uh oh. No, not. Are you? No, no, you're not. 3.6 kilometers away from me. Because I'm flying the plane, remember? Okay. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to land with this frame rate. <laughs> Still you shouldn't 10. have chose to land so close to the boy. Yeah. Well, it's your problem now. So long as you're out uh -huh. when I when I change back to my ship, so long as you're not within the low range, it doesn't matter. What's happened there? Oh, that's just you taking off. Something yeah. Just went weird. <laughs> uh, that's now because we, my rover's what's... just been deployed. Ah. So you're going to be flying your plane back as well now. Ah. Ah. Now, I hope the jeep hits the ground before I go out of load range. Yeah, you better hope that, because otherwise it probably won't survive the landing. Even though it won't get deleted by the physics load range, it probably will... No, it'll survive the landing, it's whether it gets deleted by the physics load range. Oh, but surely when we're in DMP, any part of a probe... Yeah, but... No, no, parts of probes stay. Yeah. It's... Yeah, the both of them got probes, so... Well, no, the plane, the plane is uh, airborne, and airborne things get deleted. Oh, okay. I see. All right, because well, it, it can't cope with the physics in atmosphere when, when you're not controlling it. I've circumnavigated you. I'm 2.9 kilometers away and moving past. It seems to have landed fine. No, you're loaded. For me, you are. The plane? Yep. Really? Okay, I've turned. I'm going to open up. I'm coming up right <laughs> behind you. Get my action groups mixed up. Where are you? I can't see any marker that's within 2.4 kilometers. I'm on about your 7 o'clock. Uh, You're 2.4 right. kilometers away. I'm going away. to um, land early, and I'm going to see if I can use the VTOL to do so. Yeah, you are on about Without the one, engines but breaking off. I think yours isn't updating as quickly as mine is. No, mine's updating, yours isn't. Because uh, I'm seeing you about 1 FPS you're doing. I'm, get, I'm getting 30 FPS, but you're only doing I'm one. I'm getting 60 FPS. Oh, I limit 11. 30 when I'm recording, because so there's no point. Also, unfortunately, I'm having problems flying my plane. Oh. Uh, it's airborne and controlled, but it's not letting me... Um, what's the word? Roll, effectively. Oh, are you having control issues for some reason? Yeah, it's the rolling is really sluggish. Okay. It's actually easy to fly this thing upside down. <laughs> <laughs> that's never that's never something you want to hear in a plane. Unfortunately, yeah, I, just, Huff, I can see you doing these really sharp turns. I just can't turn it to go back to the shoreline. Bye. Right, unless I screw up, I've won this. You're coming to Yay, and my VTOL engines have come off. I thought that would happen. Anyway, uh, I've landed. I, I, I overtook you and I'm coming to land, and I never went above two-thirds throttle. I can't see your mark of your plane at all. Jeep Jeep Room Room Debris. I'm about to pass over the shoreline. Of the KSC. Yeah. You're about 3.6 oh, kilometers behind me. Spinning. Is it a flat spin? Uh, it's a head over heels spin. Oh, you might not be able to get out of that. No, probably won't be able to. Ah, no, I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> well, at least you've still got the boat. Hmm. Ah. Right. I'm just going to get my Kerbal out and into the plane as soon as I slow down a little bit. Into the rover, sorry. And then I will fly back. Or attempt to. Well, I need to change to my boat and then just, I guess, continue the mission with that, then. Yep, continue the mission parameters. Can't leave a man behind. That's a, that really sucks. I've done this mission so many times now to prepare for this. And done it well enough. To succeed. 
<sighs> and I have boarded. Right, let's just throttle up a little. Enemy radar. Special needs force jeep pullover hawk. Oh, right. Uh, four. It hey, won't let me one. change to it in this flight, apparently. Space sensor. And. And slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, two. Boat has been dropped and is releasing. Doing, 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 doing. Yep. Recovered vessel. Congratulations. Meanwhile. All right, my plane is airborne. I'm flying it back. Oh, oh, having load issues. Come on. Load. Load. That's probably because of I'm in the in the area. Yeah, I've got like two FPS. Oh, I should be. I should one be one FPS. No, no, it's it's let's just. See if this thing flies any faster with um, without the, the, the oh there. oh, come on, don't go too crazy on me now. <laughs> I've managed to maintain slick forty and above. That I'm was a tired video. Except you crashed your plane. <laughs> Except when I crashed the plane, which yeah. I'm so I'm so frustrated by that. More than I really should be, I suppose. I might just after if I complete this mission before both of you, I might just go again to prove that I can do it. Or oh, I've just noticed it, something really weird. My probe core's upside down, but the controls are still the same. Huh? <laughs> Mine was yeah, my probe upside down as well. <laughs> yeah, the controls are still the same. It's just that sky is ground and ground is sky. That's a bit confusing. Okay, I'm approaching the shore. Now the way mine oh, works, yeah, I, I need to get up into a flat, relatively flat area, and then drop the rover. Oh, I may have. Uh, oh, no, balls! Please tell me I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm gonna. This is. Yeah, I'm about to crash. You're gonna crash into the shoreline. Oh, <laughs> uh, survive! Uh, no explosions. Yay! I mean, ah. Oh. <laughs> but at least you're getting a buttery 80 FPS. Oh! <laughs> oh! 30. Oh, 30. It wasn't it 40? It was. Earlier. And then I crashed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go again, Harv. Go again. Go again. You can catch up with us. It's fine. Yeah. Hopefully. Right. I'm preparing to open up the throttle. Space plane hangar, I'm going to quickly make some additions to the orientation of my probe core. My plane does fly faster without the stuff there. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> derp. Well, you've dropped several tons of weight. Yeah, <laughs> it's about 20 meters a second faster. That's okay, good. I'm not going to open up ah, the throttle. I know I've got this in the bag. I don't need to open up the throttle. It's fine. <laughs> 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 Clear the runway. And. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, um. And... Yeah, don't, don't. If I'll tell you if I'm really near the runway, just in case I'm landing while you take off. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Do tell me. How far are you out, Chris? Um, I'm about 12 kilometers from the runway, just flying the plane back. And my boat is uh, waiting at the marker, prepped and ready. Uh, let's give myself a forward-facing rib core. I regret not putting more engines on this thing now. It's certainly got the fuel for it. In fact, I think I, I bet I bet I could fly this thing to the North Pole. <laughs> hmm. It's got way too much fuel. Okay, uh, right, I'm coming into the runway now. Right. So everything else ought to be okay. I'm starting to use my maneuvering jets. Coven and the Curzi. Save. Launch. Oh. Oh. Ah. I didn't notice that before. My well, roll is backwards. Oh, ah. Oh, yeah, my, my roll is backwards. <laughs> um, yeah, because my probe goes upside down, my roll is backwards. So yeah, I'm that was just... exactly the same that happened to me, actually. <laughs> Except yeah. my roll just wasn't working flat out. Ah. Right, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so where are you? Seven kilometers, I can see your ship. So I'm fine to launch. Putting um, down my landing gear. Because I'm about to come into the runway. Oh, what well, well, balls. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, I just... Um... Can you, like, delay your landing? 
You said you could go to the North Pole, so you'd clearly have enough fuel. <laughs> oh, that's so close. Oh, well, go for it then. We'll see what happens. I'll see. I'll see what happens. Your yeah. part count isn't that bad. It's just both uh, Not the together. plane. Uh, and yeah, it's just your plane anyway. Yeah, is... you should be able to go fine. Um, I am... Let's, let's see if I can do this. It's a wobbly, wobbly plane now. <laughs> I am on the shore. Yay. I am taking off. I'm taking off just as Jinkibo is about to come into land. And I'm landing, yes. <laughs> Which means I'll oh, I can you see you there. Momentarily. I can see you now. I can see clearly now. The chicken has I gone. Crash into you. Oh, I think I'm loading. <laughs> I'm loading and six frames per second. Hey. Oh, oh like, 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 like. Ooh, okay. No, no! Yes, yes. Bad boat! Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. Oh, Hello. no. Oh! Oh, you just appeared on the runway again. <laughs> I thought I was going to crash into you. My Kerbals may be in the sea. I've landed. Hey. Uh-oh. I'm not the only one who failed. No, no, I can get them back. It's fine. I've landed at an angle, which means I might fall off the end of the runway. Oh, no, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning. I can see you just going off the edge, the left edge. Oh, and I have... Stopped. There we go. No parts broken. My Kerbals okay. are not happy with their situation. I don't really blame them. They're on a rover suspended beneath a boat, suspended beneath a paper plane. Uh, how do I get rid of the ship? Because recover doesn't work. Um, what? I'd try reverting, perhaps. Although that... No, that would remove the boat. Well, it wouldn't. It probably wouldn't, because this oh. is DMP, where that kind of thing doesn't work like that. I might not. Uh, uh, actually, I could go to the Space Center and then delete it from the map screen. You could, but once I I tried that in a couple of episodes ago and everything exploded. <laughs> Maybe I could leave it where it is. Okay, uh, unfortunately, one of my Kerbals um got out of the craft and now cannot move. What? Okay, I might have to revert the flight because nothing else will work. I'm not the only one having problems. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's see if that works. Ah, don't delete the boat. Please don't delete the boat. I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect it would. I really don't. If, if it does, I'm just going to leave the plane in the ocean. <laughs> right. Okay. Maps uh, tracking station. Where are you? Special needs force jeep. Uh, right. So the special needs force jeep has landed there, which means I'm going to land as far away from that as possible. It doesn't have any parts. No, it's gone. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just your debris, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine then. Oh, 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 we're bouncing a lot, we're bouncing a lot. Is that the canopy that you were testing? Um, possibly. I think it blew off. I don't Maybe. see why there would be any debris unless it was that. No, I think my ship has disappeared. Well, okay, there, there are a few parts of me. There is a boat, there is a Kerbal, and there is a rover. Unfortunately, that I'm Kerbal's going to have to be left behind. Yeah, I'm talking about the one in the sea next to the... Oh, then the that's board. probably the canopy. Yeah. Because technically I'm completing the challenge. I just have to get one Kerbal back. I've got one lost in action currently. So at least he was in out. first place. Chris is in the second and then I'm third so far. Although Chris's boat has been destroyed, hasn't it? Did you say? Yeah, because oh, okay. recovering didn't work. Reverting and um, going to the space plane, hang it didn't work. Oh, uh, that's unfair that a boat killed you. Work. And then, so I had to revert, which actually did remove the boat. Uh, I'll just leave the plane where it is. Yeah, that's back. fair, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm onto the level flat. I'm going for the uh, going for the control tanger. Control, control tanger? tanger. Yep, the tanger. It's a cross between a hang on a control tower. <laughs> right, I, I'm actually. I think I'll land the plane closer to the uh, to the um, KSC shore, and then drive the boat there. Is your boat more reliable than your plane? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's definitely quicker. Really? Okay. Actually, no, it's not really well, quicker. No, it depends it's just on the cooler. Altitude you fly. <laughs> it depends on the altitude you fly. Yeah, it's just cooler. Yeah, but if you go up, you have to come down, and with a VTOL... It's, it's, it's much slower to land in the plane, I suppose. Yeah. Whereas That's why I decided not to do a landing. I was like, right, I'm going to drop. And if I can airdrop, and that saves me a lot of time. Right, I'm in the water now. This is my second water landing. Both have been successful, which is quite an achievement for this. I have to say. 
It used oh. to break off all my engines, but I've got some better at it. Right, I've got Billy Bobus now. <laughs> okay, I'm headed up the control tower. I would like to announce. 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 I'd like to that announce your claim to the throne. <laughs> I'm planting a flag for all Kerbals everywhere. Well, actually, my Kerbals. Ooh. Ooh. Site name. I'm going to pretend I was first. First. <laughs> the the I, only. I was destroyed by a bug. First that matters. V Spoto, I'm going to uh, buzz you with my plane. Are you in your boat right now? I'm First for the Empire. But where is the flag? <laughs> it's on the uh. roof. <laughs> oh, why don't you get a nice lens flare? Mm. Right. Now, how do we get out of here? Ooh. Right, I really got oh, oh, no. Right you're here. just. You're re re repeat spawning. Yeah, oh, no, is. no, 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 no! Don't destroy my ship! Don't destroy my ship! 